Hi, so this lesson is lesson 2.5. So this lesson is actually going to be talking about the three different types of CSS, also known as cascading style sheets and styles. So one is the most popular and really most preferred and you know, it's the type that I use and most designers use and any kind of professional would use this. And that is the external CSS. So what that is, is you have a link here and this is giving it the command to read this external CSS file, which is this one. And then all of this stuff applies. Now, the benefits of this is that you can connect, like I built a site recently and it has 80 pages and counting. So in doing so, I'm able to control all the pages. So like we, uh, we decided we wanted to change the background. So I was able to just delete the background out of here and I was able to change it on all the pages. So that's really beneficial rather than going in and changing each individual page. Let me tell you, hand coding 80 pages, and since I don't know programming, I had to hand code 80 pages uh, a good portion of the time. So that's just, it's so difficult. And then when you have to do CSS, it's even harder. So this is just really the much preferred way. Now, if you want to, go and um sorry so there the next way is i'm just going to delete this so this way um you can see how it affects it separately oh so hold on i'll just show you this is linkedin and it's from my last video and i'm just going to pull this up on firefox so you see it's actually following all the commands now i'm just going to pull it out and um we will see the next one is embedded CSS. So what that is, is that it, you have the style tags. So style, and then you have a closing tag. And here, you're able to treat it like a CSS file, except for it's in the header. Head, sorry, I keep saying header. It's not header. <laughs> um, header is a different tag in HTML5, and I, for some reason, always slip up and say the wrong one. So, um, here, like let's say I want to do um, H1, I want to do the H1 tag, and I want to have it color, let's go with like some sort of, I don't know, let's go with blue. And I'm going to close that. And then let's say, let's give the body, body, background, color. And I think that was a blue, so let's just have like a lighter blue, just something so it could stand out. And let's just close that. So let's see how this looks. Preview in Firefox. So you see it worked. It looks terrible, but it worked. Um, so those are, that's the second way. Now, this does have the benefit that you could still control the whole page from it. However, you have to have it in each individual page. So if you have one page or two pages, it's not a problem. If you have 10 pages or 20 pages or 80 pages or more, it's a big problem. So I really wouldn't recommend doing this on anything more than two or three pages. I think five pages is really the limit. But I think even if you do one page, it's best to really do external CSS. Now the third way is called inline CSS, which means here I will go to this paragraph and let's say I want to make this paragraph a color. Now the truth is you, you don't need to, hold on, let me just focus on, there we go. Often I type what I'm thinking, so. And then let's say color and we'll have it green and background color. Um, No, I won't give a background color. So now we will open it up in Firefox and we will see that you see this line is green. So oh, it's terrible <laughs> also, but it's green. Now the thing is you could do a lot with CSS and it doesn't just need to be colors. The reason why I've been doing colors more is because it doesn't take a trained eye to see it. It's something that you could pick on very easily, like pick up on very easily rather than staring at it and going, Wait, what's the difference, you know? So that's why I pick colors. So it's very easy to teach with. Now, uh, the benefits 
of this are if you want to have like each line, like look at these lists. Here are lists and if I want to have each single one a different color, this would be very easy. However, this is only works for each individual tag. You'd have to write it in each individual tag. So that's good if you, like I said, want each one of these, you know, a different color and you only have one page or two pages. I definitely wouldn't do more than two pages. I think three is already pushing it. But, um, but you know, this, you know, this is a possibility also. I, it's not really used much at all, but it is a good thing to know. So that's it, and these are the three types of CSS. Uh, so let's just review. We have inline, embedded, and external. I hope this video was helpful. Um, thank you so much for watching. Bye.